Hey guys, Rockabilly here once again. What's up, everybody? I was doing a little quick video because I know what broke. Oh my goodness. So, apparently, Sony saw Microsoft buy Activision Blizzard, and Sony's like, all right. Fair game, you buy the Vision Blizzard. We're buying Bungie. That's right. You heard that right. I know I'm late to the party, but I would have been here sooner, but I was at work. But yeah, it broke while I was at work. Play, uh, Sony Entertainment is planning to buy Bungie for $3.6 billion. What is going on? And the. And the crazy thing is, I mean, even though it's technically February, we're still technically in January at the time that happened. You know, by the time I upload this, it'll be February, but that happened back in January. I mean, my God, first that, you know, Activision Blizzard's being bought by Microsoft, now Sony buying Bungie? Like, what else can happen next? I'd say it's interesting time to be a... It's, inter it's very interesting... Though, and everyone's saying this in the comments, and I have to agree, and I hope they do this. Please, 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 somebody, anybody, please buy up Konami. Because of the recent thing of the whole NFT crap, which I finally figured out. I felt like an old man for so long, not knowing, not knowing what the hell an NFT is. You know, everyone's talking about it, and it was it's obviously bad, because anybody that's... In fact, I'm, considering the fact that I'm hearing it's bad for the environment, once I figured out what it was, and everyone's jumping on board, it's just like... I thought loot boxes of microtransactions are bad, but this is like next level stupid. Word? Not only... Because Konami was doing NFTs, Ubisoft wants to do it, Atari wants to jump in the game, it's just like... No. Ugh. God. This is... Christ, just, just so dumb. I think people are stealing art and like reselling it as NFTs, like taking like YouTube profile pics and, and reselling as NFTs. I'm pretty sure that's pretty illegal what they're doing. It's just, it's just stupid. I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent to the side. Point being, the point is I'm saying that point I'm making that reason why. Konami, because Konami's doing NFTs, they clearly no, don't know what the hell they're doing. Thus, I would like for a company to come and swoop them up. Because, honestly, I would love that, honestly, because... I mean, Konami, I don't know, like, what have they done, really, when you stop at the... Other than Yu-Gi-Oh!, which, I'll give them that, they're still consistent on and doing well with that license. But beyond Yu-Gi-Oh!, what else have they done... With their license of any of any importance, they haven't done anything Castlevania in a while. Well, there was a mobile game, but it's awful. They had their own like um, soccer series, but the last one was like <clears throat> like hot garbage, right up there with Battlefield uh, 2042. Like that levels of bad. Like Jesus, it makes FIFA look like a masterpiece. That's how bad it is. When you make FIFA look like a masterpiece in the comparison, you have screwed up royally, son. Sheesh. And 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 all and and, and what they do and what are they doing with games like Silent Hill and and Metal Gear? Make them into pachinko machines. Ooh, exciting! Said no one ever. It's just stupid. Honestly, uh, I love the fact that Sony has. Bought Bungie, and the fact that it, and, and fans are freaking out like, oh no, now Destiny's gonna be exclusive now to this. I don't, it only be, it's gonna be exclusive to Sony, uh, aka PlayStation. But it said they confirmed that no, it's still gonna be multi-platform, so that's good. But still, I, I would like a Sony or Microsoft, or how even Nintendo just to buy up Konami because seriously, NFTs, word, and it's like Pachinko Machine, the other franchises. Come on, man. I know Nintendo will outsource those IPs to other people, to reliable talents, to do something proper with 
Castlevania, Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, instead of this being Pachinko and NFTs. It's stupid. Overall, I'm happy that I think this is cool. This happened. Is this crazy that it, it's crazy that it even happened to begin with? Sony buying Bungie for three point six billion dollars. I, they saw Microsoft making moves. Like Sony's like, we gotta make some moves ourselves. But at the same time, I hope that it, it sparks interest to buy, uh, to buy, you know, to to buy Konami, man. Cause they're not doing anything with their licenses. Is this? It's just so much great. Heck, like there's even like a Suikoden, with like RPGs, like tactical series that Konami abandoned. That's getting a spiritual successor. That's getting positive press. And you know, it's just I wish Konami would just do something with their crap instead of just like doing what they're doing now. So which also we'll buy them up. But w w now I'm sorry. Tangent aside on that crap. We'll. Will like these? Will this? Will, it, will this keep happening? Through the, like people buying stuff. I don't know. Maybe. I recently found out that Take Two Interactive bought Zanga. Yeah. Well, so the once dying site, what has been saved by Two K. So Two <laughs> K Interactive. That's crazy. And all in the same month, Two K Interactive got bought by. Um, Zanga, no, 2K Interactive bought Zanga, Microsoft buys Activision Blizzard, now Sony buys Bungie. All in that same, within a month or two, within that month or two period, not that long apart from each other. Like, that happened, and that happened, and that happened. It, it's, it's crazy, man. It's insane. And I just hope that, you know, at least, you know, at least Konami, and I, I mean, I mean with that, at least, I'm hearing. I'm even hearing rumors. No, no, I don't normally talk about rumors, but I just want to give your thoughts on in the comment section below. That maybe, you think maybe that this holds some weight to it. Also, I'm hearing rumors that uh, PlayStation might buy up Square, and then Microsoft is thinking about buying Sega. So, man, considering how recent years Sega has been doing incredibly well, though I am sad to hear that Sega is no longer going to be in the arcade and market anymore, which is kind of sad. Uh, that kind of sucks. That means in future games like Yak next Yakuza or or Judgment games, I don't know if you'll be able to play in the local arcade. I'm pretty sure they'll maybe still have that around, but it's kind of sad that what 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 you know they were known for being in the arcade and not just doing it anymore. Which I don't think they should give up on it. Honestly, they have so many great IPs to work with besides virtual, you know, like Virtual Fighter, Golden Axe. Hey, do something with Streets of Rage. Make an arcade. Like game with with Streets of Rage or make some new IPs. Do let me do a Sonic fighting like like beat 'em up game like with Streets of Rage with Sonic characters. I mean, you know, just give it a try. I wouldn't just give up. It's kind of sad that they're doing all these. They're known for they're known for like all these like racing classics, and now they're just kind of just going away. I'm sorry, I'm getting off tangent again, but I just wanted to just. just what are your thoughts in the comment section below? I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the matter. Like, do you think the rumors of like Sony maybe buying Square Enix or Microsoft buying Sega, do you think that's possible or do you think that's too far fetched? What is your thoughts on Sony buying budget? I think this is cool. Um, as long as they treat the developers right and do something and cool some and do some cool original IPs and stuff with um, Bungie. What is crazy? Bungie was with Microsoft. And then, and then they went independent. Now they're with Sony. What's gonna happen in the next decade? Is they gonna go end up being with Nintendo? It's just, it's just crazy. They all, <laughs> it's they go, they all go on a, they go back to Microsoft. They go in a full circle. I don't know. It's just what a time to be alive, guys. What a kind of what a time to be alive. I'm telling you, it's interesting. But honestly, I don't care who buys Konami. I hope someone buys Konami. As far as the Square Enix and, and, and Sega thing. I doubt it, but then again, I don't know anymore. I mean, like I said, Sony just bought Bungie for three, yeah, for three point six billion dollars. So I don't know. So am I right or am I wrong? Am I, am I, am I like, like, am I, am I, am I right to think I'm crazy or no? I'm onto something. Let me know. I definitely guess. I let me. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on the Madden situation, guys. It's 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 crazy. It was a crazy time to say the least. All right, guys. Peace out, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.
Bye-bye.